What's up YouTubers? And before we get to the main thing in this video, it's Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> That's right guys, it's getting close to Christmas. Are you feeling the Christmas spirit? Are you feeling the Christmas spirit? Yes. <laughs> I just love the way you answered that. Yes. <laughs> Anyway guys, it's time for an early Christmas present and it's going to be another Deck V Deck video. And today guys, it's going to be the last legendary deck video as it's Kaiba V Yugi. It's time for the two rivals to go at it in the legendary deck videos. Are you guys excited for this duel? I know I am. Are you excited for this duel? Yes. Yes, we're all looking forward to our Christmas festive duel. And besides, guys, it will soon also be for the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie to come up, The Dark Side of Dimension. Ooh. So, it's also a sneak peek into how that duel's going to be. Even though we're not going to be using the same cards that we've seen in the trailers and from the movie pack, but we may as well get this duel underway, of course, before we get to the main thing. Rock, paper, scissors, to see who will choose whose deck to, to use first. Does that make sense? Yes. Good. Alright, so I've heard the two. Rock, paper, scissors. Ooh, I lost! No! So what deck do you want to use? I want to use um, Yugi's deck first. He's going to use the King of Games himself. And I'm going to be using the Rich Boy's deck. Yeah, I'm using Yugi. Oh, and yeah. he's using Kaiba. We're not using the decks, we're just using the people. <laughs> anyway, guys, why don't we cut away to our dueling field? It's time to do 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 Alright guys, we've got our field all set up. My brother over here has got Yugi's deck with Yugi's map. And I've got Kaiba's deck over here with Saga the Blue Eyes White Dragon structure map. And before we get started, of course, we gotta shuffle our decks. Because we're not cheaters. And to the opponent, after we give them a good shuffle. So they can choose to shuffle if they want. Yeah. And of course with these decks guys, we got to shuffle them extremely well if we want to get out some amazing cards. And if we want to see Exilia up against the Blue Eyes White Dragons again. And of course Rock Paper Scissors to see who goes first. No! Uh, okay, I will go second. Second, so that means I go first. Yes. Why did you choose to make it so complicated? Alright, <laughs> I'm activating then the unexpected die. With this magic card, if I control no monsters, I can suppose summon a level 4 or lower normal monster from my deck. I choose to summon out. Man, I've only got two options. <laughs> the Battle Ox. <gasps> Such a classic. Sort of powerful swings his axe. His description. <laughs> I'm then gonna normal summon out the Vorse Raider. And I'm going to activate the magic card, Polymerization! <gasps> Fusing Force Raider and Balox together in order to fusion summon First of the Dragons! Do I look scared? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your move. I draw. Hmm. This card. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I, I will set one card face down and end my turn. My fusion monster's already beating you, basically. I set this face down, and... Oh my god. <laughs> First of the dragons will attack. Sangang! I use the effect of Sangang. I can now add a monster with a thousand... Uh, Fifteen hundred or less attack from my deck to my hand. I'm so annoyed that I can't because of what you've done with it in the last... Deck I added deck Exodia bit. pieces. Yes, you... <laughs> so I am going to add a card from my deck to my hand. Um, I'm going to now add... Take your time! 
Marshmallow. Ah, for God's sake, not the marshmallow on. AKA, look how he's smiling at you. Look how he. Meh. He's just looking trolly, and yeah, I guess I have that to my hand. Yes. I am my turn. I draw. Hmm. I will set one card face down and end thy turn. I know what that is. Uh, how would you know? Would you believe psychic powers? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set this in defense mode then and end my turn. Hmm. I will draw. <laughs> um. Hmm. And I will end thy turn. Thy? Why are we being like that? Because I'm an Egyptian pharaoh. So I need to speak like someone who's an Egyptian. I'll set this and end my turn. I draw. Hmm. And I will. Um. Hmm. I will. I will. Um. Then I will set one card face down and end my turn. Really? Yes. I'll set this and set this in defense mode. Your move. I draw. I set one, two, and three cards face down. Be scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I will end my turn. Oh, really? I am my turn. I activate obliterate. Ah, oh, come on! And I can now send the. Uh, I, I need the brains of the situation to the graveyard. And I can bounce first of the dragons back to your hand. Back to the extra deck, more like. Ugh. I draw. Hmm. And I'll summon out the strongest card in the game. Blast magician. Da -da -da -da. And I will attack that card. The white stone of I ancient. I actually obliterate before it gets destroyed. When I, so what I'm going to do is send the right leg to the graveyard and bounce that back to your hand. Seriously? And I now end my turn. Ha ha. Draw. So instead of trying to bounce back cards, you're going to... Um, instead of destroying cards, you're basically bouncing them back. Yep. Yeah, boy. Alright then, this is going to be fun then, because I'm playing the Ancient Rules. <gasps> now I can switch to someone level 5 or above normal monster from my hand. Let the Blue Eyes White Dragon! Hmm. Oh, no. You scared? Maybe. Well, it's going to be a bother then when my Blue Eyes White Dragon attacked your Blast Magician. Obliterate. I can now send the left arm to bounce Bly's white dragon back to your hand. Good, because then, during my main phase two, I'm going to play Trade-In, discarding Blue Eyes White Dragon to draw two new cards. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm activating the Jar of Avarice. This targets five cards in my graveyard, and I get to shuffle them back into my deck. Oh no. So I choose Polarization, Ancient Rules, Battlelox, Wolf's Raider, and Unexpected Die. Back to my deck and shuffle. Oh no. And then from that, I get to draw one new card. So that's a completely new hand for me. I then activate Mausoleum of White. And then. I set this in defense mode, and my turn. I draw. And then, um... Oh, when you activated... Because of my Blast Magician, every time I activate a spell card, it gains a spell counter. And you've activated Ancient Rules, Trade-In, and Molazeum of White. So that's three counters. Um... I can remove any number of spell cards from this card and then target one face up one still on the field with its attack less than or equal to the number of counters I remove times 700 and destroy it, but I'm not going to. So uh, I thought it decreased. 
No, it just destroys it. Mm. And then activate obliterate. Allowing me to send the left leg of the forbidden one. I want me to answer that back to your hand. Is there no love for my other face down defense monster? I'll set Blast Magician to defense mode and normal summon the right arm of the forbidden one. I activate Cologne and giving me a copy of the right arm of the forbidden one. I will then send this to the graveyard to special summon the legendary Exodia incarnate. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> and then, because it's got five Exodia pieces in the graveyard, it now has 5,000 attack points. What does Cologne do? Makes an exact copy of your um, arm. When the target is destroyed, send this. Oh, I didn't destroy it, I attributed it. <laughs> so, Legend Exodia Incarnate will attack your cloning trap card. And I will set one card face down and end my turn. And then Exodia will allow me to add the right arm back to my hand. I draw. This is getting nuts. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, really picking my options here. I summon up Master with eyes of blue. Okay. I will then actually obliterate sending the right arm of the forbidden one, bouncing it back to your hand. Thanks to Mausoleum of White. Whoops, you didn't see that. <laughs> Thanks to Mausoleum of White, I get to summon out I get to call upon another monster, like Master with Eyes of Blue once again. Obliterate it's only once per turn. Yep. I end my turn. I draw, and I will attack the mass with the eyes of blue. Negate attack, neutralizing your attack. It is now your turn. Neither of us have dealt damage. What is wrong with her? Master of eyes of blue to defense mode. Oh, right, and this gets added back to me. Yeah. I set this in defense mode and end my turn. I. We'll draw. Hmm. I'll set one card face down, and I will now use Incarnate to attack that monster. And send it to graveyard. Yes. I will now um, activate the. Obliterate by sending the right arm of food and what I can bounce that card back to your hand. I end my turn and then in Carney adds this back to my hand. Your turn. Alright. Alright, I am really running low on options here. <laughs> Your Exodian currently only has 4,000 attack points, doesn't it? Correct. And I'm really struggling here to... I'm ending my turn. I use Obliterate by sending the right arm for Bidwell that can bounce that back to your hand. Why didn't I see that coming? I draw. Hmm. I will now sit Black Soldier to attack mode. Let's see, that's 5,000 and 6,400. And I'm on 8,000 light points. Oh god. Um. I will also. I need to just do some math. <laughs> Not math! 
You can't do math. I don't know. Oh, maybe I can. I'm going to go for the win. I will now special summon the tricky from my hand by sending backup soldier to the graveyard. Oh, God. I'll tribute Big Shield Gardener and Legend Jigsaw Incarnate for the Bluster Blader. Why? I thought your Connie was your most powerful monster! I actually contract with Exodia. Ah, come on! Because I have all five pieces of Exodia in my graveyard, I can special summon Exodia Necros from my hand. Are you serious? I will now flip Marshmallow on. I knew it! So that's that, that this and uh, I'll attack with Blast Soldier. Yeah. The tricky uh, Buster Blader uh, and Exodia Necros, so you have 200 life points. Marshmallow on, finish it! Ah, come on! <laughs> Well guys, I didn't get thrashed by Exodia actually, but this deck just could not stand up against Yugi's. So give us a mo guys to switch the fields around and see how I can handle Yugi's and how my brother here can handle Kaiba's deck. Alright guys, we've got the field all set up. I've got Yugi deck over here, my brother here's got Kaiba's deck. Before we get to the Angel, of course, we got to shuffle these decks up. So that way we get a nice mixture of cards. And to the opponent so they can shuffle it. And back to the opponent. Rock, paper, scissors. See who goes first. You're going first. Okay. And without further ado, let's do. Right. Hmm. I will set two cards face down and end my turn. Alright, I draw. I set this face down and summon out the Blast Magician! Blast Magician! Attack! Your move. I draw. I will set one card face down. And I will also set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw. Alright, I'm summoning out the left leg of the Forbidden One. Blast Magician, attack! You attacked the White Stone of Ancients. Doesn't matter, because the left leg is going to give you the left foot. Attack! And since the Spellcaster attacked, I'm activating Magician's Circle. Now we both can special summon out a Spellcaster type monster with 2,000 or less attack points from my deck in attack mode. Any spellcaster. Any spellcaster. With 2,000 loss attack. With 2,000 loss attack. Yes. Got mine. And I have mine. Shall we reveal them on three? Yeah. One, two, three! You've been too slow. Oh, come on! <laughs> Do I just seriously give you the maiden with eyes of blue? Yeah. Joe's gonna make it worse. What? Well, End your turn and you'll find out. <laughs> oh, please. Because I'm activating the Messenger of Pace. As long as this spell card is active, monsters with 1500 or more attack cannot declare an attack. And all at a price of 100 life points per my turn. Mm -hmm. Your move. I activate. White Sword of Ancient's special ability. I can now special a Blue Eyes monster from my deck into 
my field into my field. <laughs> into the field? Into my what, field. is it just going to burst out of the ground going, hello? In my field, not on my field, in my field. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, well, unless it's Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is already in the field. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that technically is in the field. I will now special summon. Uh, let's go with you. Blue eyes, white no. <laughs> <laughs> you just oh my god. The dragon spirit of white. That's even worse. I will now banish your messenger of peace. And that's death. why it's worse. And it's now my turn because everything is good for me already. I draw. I activate silent magician's effect. Since you draw a card, I get to place a spell counter on this card. And for each spell counter that's on this card, it gains 500 attack points. Right, I will now. Hmm, I will now. Uh, what's the best thing to do? do, 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 do. I will now. Uh, should I do it or not? Should I do it or not? If you want to attack, just attack. Should I do it or not? I am going to. Synchro summon. Can't really do that. Oh. Do right. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, let's go to my um, battle phase. Dragon Spirit of White. Attack. Silent Magician level 4. Seriously? It is I needed that. It's now your turn. Draw. I sacrifice the left leg of Exodia in order to summon out the Dark Magician Girl! The crowd goes wild. Yeah. Isn't she pretty? She's pretty. Isn't she pretty? She's a girl. She's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to Blast Magician's Effect, by taking away a spell counter, I can able to then decrease your Dragon Spirit of White by 700. Um, you can move any other spell counter. Or equal to the number of counts you move times 700 and destroy the target. So he's got. So destroy monster with 700 or less. Oh. Basically. Oh, then never mind. Then <laughs> that's me failing. Okay. Alright. Because then I'm activating this the magic card Magicians Unite. With this, if I control two spellcaster type monsters, one of their attack points increase all the way up to 3,000. So Dark Magician Girl, get a power boost. But the other cannot attack. Yeah. Now, destroy the Dragon Spirit of White! Um. Okay. Your move. Um. I draw. And I will activate the White Son of Ancient special ability. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. I can banish it to add the White, the Dragon Spirit of White to my hand. I think you've done that right. Yeah, it says add a Blue Eyes card. Right. I will now. Activate trade in. So by sending the Dragon Spirit of White to the graveyard, I can now draw my two cards from my deck. Um, this is starting to feel like a proper Kaiba v Yugi duel. The other one did not feel like. What attack has he got? She! It's a girl! It's in the title! Dark Magician Girl! Right, Dark Magician Girl, how much attack has he got? She! <laughs> 2000! <laughs> I feel like every Dark Magician Girl out there who is watching this field is is so triggered now that probably unsubscribing to your channel right now. Links in the description below, guys, to his channel. Go subscribe and then unsubscribe to this guy, just so you can know the pain. <laughs> I will now, yes now, not tomorrow, not today, not in the morning. Just now. do it! <laughs> We're all annoyed at you now. Right, I will now. Oh, uh, let me think of what to do. I'm going to have a fit in a minute. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to set one card face down and end my turn. Finally! <laughs> Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Ah, oh, no. And then a normal summon now, Sangang. I think it'd be worse. Blast Magician take away one counter to blow up the Magician with... Uh, Mazer with Eyes of Blue, not Magician. 
Now, because you targeted my maiden with eyes of blue, I can now switch her to defense mode to see I got it right that time. That's attack, though. What? If it's targeted, it still stays in the position it was. When it's attacked, it switches positions. You still get the blue eyes white dragon. Even what, both as long as I get to summon this card, it's fine. As long as I summon him in the attack mode, it's okay. But the effect still goes off and your maiden blows up. Hmm. Bye bye! You're not pretty enough! You're not as pretty as a dark magician girl! I have the idea of killing it. Alright. Then I switch all my monsters to defense mode. Not Sangang, I just summoned that, didn't I? Yep. Yep, your move. I draw. Huh. I will. Surrender? Good idea. <laughs> but no, I need to get out of this sticky situation with more glue. Um, hmm. I just realised you said you need to get out of this sticky situation with more glue. <laughs> <laughs> There we are. I'm going to um, activate uh, final attack orders to go to attack mode. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I am serious. I will now summon a blade knight in attack mode. Blue eyes, white dragon, white knighting on blast, magician. Oh, wait, no, wait, what am I doing? Attack girl, magician girl. Are you serious? Yeah. All the dark magician girl fans now hate you officially for doing that. Blade magician will attack blast magician. Sorry, Blade Knight with that blast magician. Um. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Okay. I will now. Hmm. I will end my turn. Draw. That's it. This in defense mode. Switch saying game to defense mode. Can I not? Oh. That battle just cannot be changed. Your move. Mm -hmm. I draw. Hmm. I will. I will now. Okay. Oh, this is scary. Okay. I, I'm now going to go to my. Um, hmm. I will now end my turn. Not attacking? No, I'm scared of your sign You're gonna add like Exodia. To roll. I played Pot of Duality! Oh no. Now I get to reveal the top three cards of my deck. And I get to add any one of them to my hand. <laughs> oh, uh, what are we gonna choose? Two of them are Exodia pieces! Are you kidding me? I know what you're choosing. The left leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm That's funny, the left leg isn't even there. I'm adding Mirror Force. I'm not going to try and win with Exodia. That's happened way too much for this deck. <laughs> we need to let the other pe we need to let the other parts of this deck breathe. No fear. <laughs> oh no. But because of part of duality, I can't special summon this turn. So I'm just saying this in defense mode. I'm saying Sangha into defense mode, and then it's what back to attack mode. Set this card face down, and then my turn while I cry. I draw. I should be blue eyes for Tiger Magician. Tiger Magician! Tiger Dragon. Since I've attributed a dragon type, I can talk up to two face down, so on track cards, you control and destroy him. I destroy them too. How many life points have you got, my sir? 5,800. Hmm. 5,800. That's a lot of life points you got right there. Um. Right, um. Yeah. Um, should I attack or not? Can you let me answer this question? I will now um, attack with Blade Knight to your Sangan. I'm actually okay with that because then I can add one card from my deck to my hand as long as it has 1500 or less attack. So I have this spell with 1500 or less attack. So I'm adding to my hand. The marshmallow. Oh no, that's what I did. <laughs> yes, I'm doing a U. A U turn. I like U turn. Right, I will. Um. I will. Um. Then. End my turn. Draw. 
I set this in defense mode and special summon out the Tricky by discarding the Dark Magician. Tricky, destroy Blade Knight! I will now activate Shadow Spell on your the Tricky. Ah, oh, come on! Yugi, why is your deck against me? Your move. I draw. I am now going to. Hmm. Cry in the corner. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Uh. I am now going to. What was that? <laughs> no idea. I am now going to summon. I don't know what to summon. This is scary. Oh, I know what card face down is. It's a. Yes, yeah, I have no cards in my hand. It's pretty much obvious it's the card I added. <laughs> Yeah, so it's left arm with the field. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will now attack the Tricky with a Tiger Dragon. Why am I getting rid of that? Oh, why, am I getting rid of <laughs> why are you just getting rid of your cards? <laughs> I, who needs cards? Who needs them? Um... Oh my god! <laughs> a, ti a Tiger Dragon! <laughs> no, a Tiger Dragon! <laughs> tiger Dragon! Oh my god! <laughs> I can actually stop. <laughs> I have my, I have my turn up. I'm scary. I'm so sorry, guys. You had to say that. Tiger, I got a bit annoyed. Why? Just trying to get me up there. I said this is the best one on my turn. Oh my god. I draw. All right. I'm so sorry. I can get through this. All right, I can get it. A face down defense mode, or face up. Or face up. Right, um, I did not realize that. I summon Alexandru Wright Dragon. Uh, right, I will now. Hmm. Activate Fusion Substitute. So by sending. Can't fuse from the hand, it only says on the field. Hold, I knew that. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. I knew that. I will now activate. Silent Doom. So I need to be quiet. So now special summoning for Ice White Dragon in defense mode. Fusion substitute. Yes! You played it right! Everyone give it a round of applause! <laughs> I will now activate Jar of Avarice. So I I shuffle these in. No, I don't know. I'll shuffle. One, two, three. Oh! Five in. And I'll shuffle all five into my deck and draw one card. Hmm. I will now. Hmm. Have I normal summoned? Yes. Yes, I have. That's saddening, you know. I will now go to my battle phase. And the crowd goes finally. Alright, I will now, with Blade Knight, attack that card. Marshmallow, come on, be sure of and you take a thousand damage. But thanks to final attack holder, it switches to attack mode. Now, Tiger Dragon will attack. 2100 damage, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. And, but like an, arc, like an arc 5, but you still take damage. I will now attack with the first of the dragons. And that's game, guys. Yugi's deck. Was not victorious and so I don't know what to do. Do we have another deck v deck duel to decide who is victorious? This has never happened before. What should we do, guys? Let us know in the comment section below. Do we have a another duel, another deck v deck duel with these decks? If we do do that, we should add an Obelisk and Slifer to these decks. It would like a game with these with Obelisk, Slifer, and Bra. So, yeah, guys, let us know in the comments section what do you want done. Because I honestly don't know what I should do, really. My suggestion is we should add Obelisk into this deck, Slifer into that deck, and do something else with Bra. Nah, not include Bra. It would be like the Battle City Finals. So, yeah, guys, uh, let us know in the comments section. What are your thoughts? Should we do another deck v deck duel, just as they are? Do we add in the two Egyptian guards into these deck? So, yeah guys, um, 
Oh, and also put what your favorite Egyptian god card is down in the description. D the comments! In the comments. Everyone is gonna hate you now. You blew up Dark Magician Girl. You called Dark Magician Girl an it. You're a Dark Magician Girl hater. Right. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, from me, from my brother here, Peacemaker KRT, and from the cat that disturbed the duel, <laughs> this is us signing out.